Vaz Pathornicraft are one of the world's most advanced designers and builders of surface warships in both steel and fiber reinforced plastic. Based in the south of England, the company has built a 100 meter trimaran for the UK research agency Kinetic. One of the many innovations featured on this trimaran demonstrator was the rise system for sealing cable and pipe penetrations and also the use of CSD sealing plugs. The following film will show how several different examples were sealed on the trimaran during the construction phase. In this first case, we'll be sealing several large power cables vertically through a deck penetration. First, ensure that the surface of the penetration sleeve is dry and free from grease and dirt. On large cables over 65 millimeters in diameter, the installer starts by wrapping 80 millimeter strips of rise material around each cable. These are easily cut and secured in place around the cable using wire ties. The depth of the penetration means that each cable requires two strips of material. The strips are easily pushed into place inside the penetration. The remaining space will be filled using rise insert sleeves and then sealed with FIWA sealant. A bundle of sleeves is used to fill the largest free space, packing tightly to prevent the sleeves from falling down. Individual sleeves are then inserted around the cables to fill the remaining small gaps. The sleeves are packed in tightly to ensure there are no gaps left. The sleeves are adjusted to give about 20 millimeters of free space at both ends of the penetration. This space is left to allow the application of the FIWA sealant. With all the sleeves in place, the FIWA sealant can be applied. Even when applied vertically, the sealant stays in place. Once enough sealant has been applied, a cloth is dampened with water. This will prevent the sealant from sticking to the cloth. The cloth is used to press the sealant into place. This ensures the FIWA makes a good seal around the cables.
Using the same water, the job is finished off by smoothing the sealant by hand. A cloth is used to remove any remaining sealant around the penetration. The top side of the penetration is sealed in exactly the same way. Fever sealant is applied over the sleeves. The cloth, dampened with water, is used to push the sealant down and to ensure that the sealant is between all the cables. Finally, the sealant is smoothed by hand and the job is finished, leaving a very neatly sealed penetration. Rough conditions at sea will have no impact on the quality of the RISE system. These penetrations on the trimaran are in perfect condition after two years of demanding sea trials. Independent testing has proved that there'll be no deterioration in the integrity of RISE even after usage of 50 years or more. The next example is of many small cables in a conduit pipe. Split rise sleeves are applied around each cable. The size of the sleeve depends on the diameter of the cable. Please see the guide for the correct sizes. The sleeves are inserted part way into the conduit. Once all sleeves are in place, they're pushed further down into the conduit, leaving a 20 millimeter gap. The FIWA sealant is applied, paying particular attention to the spaces between the cables. The damp cloth is used to push the sealant down and finish the job. The installer checks to ensure that the sealant has been applied in between all the cables. In this next example, we have many cables running horizontally into a large diameter conduit pipe. In these large openings, it's advisable, where possible, to place sleeves on the cables as they're pulled through. This makes it easier to fit the sleeves and also prevents overfilling of the conduit. As before, each cable is fitted with the correct size of sleeve. Once they've been pushed into the pipe, Spare sleeves are inserted to fill up the remaining spaces. Sealant is applied in the usual way, starting at the center in the most difficult section of the conduit, working outwards towards the sides. Once again, ensuring that no gaps exist between the cables.
the installer checks thoroughly that enough sealant has been applied before pushing it into place, taking care to press between the cables and then smoothing off by hand. One last check ensures that the cable penetration is completely sealed. An important advantage of the RISE system is the ability to add or remove cables at a later stage without disassembling the whole penetration. A hollow punch is used to push into the 20 mm sealant layer. The removed sealant remains inside the punch to create an opening for the new cable. Remove as much sealant as needed on both sides to allow the new cable or cables through the penetration. The new cable is pulled through an empty sleeve. FIWA sealant is used to seal the free space around the cable and is then smoothed in the usual way. It's simple, quick and cost effective. We'll now seal various pipework penetrations using CSD sealing plugs and also the RISE system. In the first example, we'll use CSD plugs to seal this pipe. The conduit is prepared by ensuring that there are no rough edges or burrs on the inside. The pipe is passed through the penetration. On the other side of the bulkhead, the first plug is prepared by smearing each half with the CSD lubricant inside and out. The inside of the conduit has also been smeared with the lubricant. Both halves are started by hand and then located all the way using a wooden block and a hammer. The other side of the bulkhead is sealed in exactly the same way. CSD lubricant is applied to the conduit and to the two halves of the plug. The plug is then fitted as before. To remove the compressed air between the two plugs, a screwdriver is dipped in the lubricant and inserted into the split between the plugs. Removing the compressed air makes it easier to fully insert the second plug. Finally, the joint between the two pipes is fixed into place. Our last example is a pipe which goes through the penetration at an angle. As a result, plugs cannot be used, and instead the RISE system will be employed. RISE is the ideal solution for this and also for multiple pipe penetrations. As in our first example, rubber strips are wrapped around the pipe and secured in place with wire. The number of layers required depends on the size of the pipe. They can be inserted from one side of the deckhead, once again, leaving a free space of 20 millimeters on each end and a 50 millimeter air gap in the middle. The free space around the pipe is packed with insert sleeves. FIWA sealant is applied and smoothed off in the usual way. On the top side of the penetration, extra sleeves are inserted to fill any gaps. The FIWA sealant is applied and then pushed into place with the moistened cloth. Finally, the sealant is smoothed down and any unwanted sealant 
is wiped off with the cloth. As we've shown, sealing penetrations using the RISE system and CSD sealing plugs is simplicity itself. This, combined with their excellent in-service performance, explains why Vosper Thornycroft have adopted both products for their vessels. Following excellent results with the Trimaran, the shipbuilders have used the systems on three offshore patrol vessels currently being built for the UK Royal Navy. Well, the RISE system makes our job a lot easier. It's um, so much simpler than the system we had before, where we can pull now all the cables in at one go before we couldn't. Um, we save time so much we can chuck all the cables in without having a person on the gland, and we can come back at the end of the cable pull and fill the gland up completely. Both RISE and CSD sealing plugs have been successfully used by Vosper Thornycroft and BAE Systems Marine. As a result, they've been approved for use in the construction of the new Type 45 destroyers for the UK Royal Navy. This is yet another prestigious contract that underlines the many practical and technical advantages of both systems for the shipbuilder and ship owner. Should you wish to find out more about the benefits that CSD products can bring to your project, please contact your local distributor or representative. Also, remember to consult the installation drawings and instructions prior to installation. And if in any doubts, well, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help with any aspect of your project.